day is peace day peace day is an international day declared by the united nations it is observed on the 21st september every year around the world the themes of this year's peace day is end racism and build peace the united the united nations general assembly has declared this year's peace day as a day devoted to strengthening ideals of peace through observing 24 hours of non-violence and ceasefire. Peace is the path we take for bringing growth and prosperity to society. Without peace, and peaceful coexistence, political strength, economic development, and stability, and cultural growth will never be possible. For this and other benefits of peace and peaceful coexistence, both Islam and Christianity attach great importance to peace everywhere and at all times. They enjoy peace building through dialogue, negotiations, and reconciliation of conflicts in order to establish peaceful coexistence. Because of the importance of peace in Islam, one of the Allah's names and attributes are peace and justice. And also Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Allah is the peace. In the noble Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in numerous places says, in order to guide us to make peace and reconciliation, he says, if two parties among the believers fall into quarrel and conflict, make you peace between them. But if one of them transgresses beyond bounds against the other, then fight you all against the one that transgresses until it comply with the command of Allah, until it comes back to peace. But if it complies, then make peace between them with justice and be fair. For Allah loves those who are fair and just. Also in the Noble Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the believers are but a single brotherhood. So make peace and reconciliation between your two conflicting brothers and fear Allah that you may receive mercy. There is also a clarion call in the Noble Quran to believers where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O oh, you who believe, enter into peace, peace, enter into peace wholeheartedly and follow not the footsteps of the evil one. For he is to you an avowed enemy. Here, we have to make a clarification. Who are those believers? They are those who believe in Muhammad, Adam, Abraham, Isaac, Ishmael, Jacob, Joseph, and other prophets mentioned in the Noble Quran and the Holy Bible. Here, you can see that we are called upon whether we are Muslims or Christians, we need to be in peace with one another. We have to reconcile, we have to make reconciliation where conflict exists. This call is general 
to both Muslims and Christians. We have every common ground to live in peace and harmony. Thank you.